Paul O'Grady's husband Andre Portasio faces fury from conservationists after revealing his plans to transform a security office into a mansion, according to reports. Portasio has set out to transform a hut on a rural estate he inherited from the TV star into a house three times the size but was dealt with backlash from environmentalists who have hit out at the scheme which they say fails to conserve or enhance the special character and qualities of the Kent Downs. Andre submitted the proposed changes to the security office after inheriting the property following the death of his late husband in March 2023. The stunning building consists of an office, utility room, shower, and large hallway. On whether the building could be converted into an office or holiday let, Lambert and Foster surveyor Levine Lamy told the Daily Mail, demand for a retail outlet providing food, clothes or haberdashery in this location is limited. She added, given the remoteness and the abundance of holiday let accommodation, it is fair to expect a significant vacancy void on changing the use to a holiday let. She went on to suggest the best use of the building would be for residential use, saying, this appraisal concludes that the current use as a security guard's office is no longer required, particularly, with the recent passing of Paul O'Grady. The best and most suitable use, is that of residential use. It comes after the ballet dancer paid tribute to his late husband on the one-year anniversary of his death. O'Grady who rose to fame as alter ego Lily Savage before hosting a string of popular TV programs, died at his home on March 28 last year at 67. Andre revealed he marked the first anniversary with a solo trip to New Zealand, saying he did not want to be anywhere near my kitchen where I found him, and be reminded of what happened. Speaking to the Mirror last month, he said, he was on wonderful form and then we settled down in the living room and switched on the tally to catch up on Kent ITV News. He always insisted on watching the presenter Sangeeta, Barbara, he loved her and would never allow me to put the BBC on. It was all about ITV. He left to get some tea, and I heard this loud bang. Mr. Portasio said he found O'Grady lying on the floor with a cut on his forehead. The ballet dance said, I called the ambulance and they said the best chance to keep him alive was to do CPR, the former ballet dancer said. I don't know how long it took for the ambulance to arrive, but by the end I was exhausted. At one point, they were like yes, he's breathing. I thought the nightmare was gone but it was very short-lived, and very shortly afterwards they pronounced him dead. Follow Mirror Celebs on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.